Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be painting an old windmill inspired by the windmills of La Mancha. So I'm going to go through the process of creating this painting, and if you want to see the real-time version of this complete tutorial with voiceover so you can follow along with me in real time, I have got that available on my Patreon page, and I will leave the link in the description down below. But anyway, let's get on to the simple steps I took to create this painting. So the first thing I did was to sketch my drawing with a warm brown. At this stage, I was only focused on arranging and organizing the composition for the painting. After my initial drawing, I considered the direction of the light source and began to establish all the shadows of the scene with burnt umber. So this underpainting will serve as a nice base and will help unify and add vibrancy through the whole painting because a lot of these warm tones will be seen through the subsequent layers of color. So a monochrome underpainting will also help us see if our composition works and if the light structure in the painting reads well. After my underpainting, I start applying the layers of color. And I always start with the sky first, because the sky will influence the mood of the overall colors in the landscape. For the sky, I used a simple mixture of ultramarine blue and white. Next I started with the distant landforms near the horizon. To create a sense of atmospheric perspective, I try to get the sky and distant landforms to match in color and tonality as much as I can. To help things receding to the distance, I use neutral colors and soften the edges. So as I move forward in the landscape, colors begin to progressively get more saturated, and in the foreground we will find our most saturated colors. So you can make your foreground stick out to the viewer by increasing your tonal contrast and using your most saturated colors here. Now I move on to the windmill. I begin painting the windmill wall in shadow using a little burnt umber and raw sienna mixed with a little white. And in the side of the mill wall, which is facing the direct sunlight, I use more chromatic colors mixed with more white and thicker paint. I add the shadows of the door and windows of the windmill with a rich transparent dark mixture of ultramarine blue and transparent brown oxide.
And finally, I paint the cells of the windmill. And here's the final result. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see the full tutorial in real time, you can check out my Patreon channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.